New study shows your money and your mood are connected in this pandemic. Medical reporter Liz Bonas shares a new study on what's making us sad and depressed. Liz? Hey everybody, hello to you. As the coronavirus pandemic swept across the country, so did an epidemic of depression, according to a new study in JAMA Network Open. The study found since the pandemic began, the prevalence of depression symptoms has roughly tripled. Now, many things appear to be influencing this. Those who lost jobs and had to drain their savings, however, appear to be impacted the most. Those with lower incomes were twice as likely to be depressed, and people with the same income but less savings were one and a half times more likely to be depressed. Now, as part of the study, researchers used a survey of more than 1,400 people. They were all 18 and older. They then compared it to those who took a previous survey done every year called the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. They found since the pandemic started, 25% of responders reported mildly being depressed, and this was compared to 16% before the pandemic. 15% were moderately depressed compared to 6% before the pandemic, and 5% had severe depression compared with less than 1% before COVID-19. Researchers found the risk for depression symptoms the highest among people with less than $5,000 in their savings. So here's what mental and spiritual health counselors say. We need to know about this to stop that downward spiral. Usually when someone starts to notice some impairment in their daily functioning, you know, that may be that they cannot, um, you know, work as efficiently as they once did or not taking care of themselves. So if you're seeing significant differences there, anytime safety is a matter um, at hand, like someone having thoughts of harming themselves, I for sure need help right away. You know, it might sound silly, but just really stopping, just taking a deep breath and saying, God, I need your help. <laughs> God, I need you. I need you to show me what to do right now in, a, in an uncertain time and a season of maybe shortage. Uh, so I think stopping and praying could be a very uh, spiritually practical way of, of taking the next step. Now, the best place to start if you're feeling down and it's lasted more than a few weeks, talk to your own health care provider. Mental health grants are available right now in many places if you feel you can't afford treatment. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.